Dear students, in this module, we're going to discuss the process of translation. As you would already remember, in transcription, the information from the DNA was communicated to the RNA molecule. Now, using the process of translation, we're going to make proteins by using the information in the RNAs. You know that the cells are made up of carbohydrates and proteins. Importantly, where do these proteins come from? So these proteins, essentially, they come from the process of translation, wherein an RNA molecule is coding a amino acid sequence, which is then uh, converted into a folded protein later. This process is called translation, and the process begins at the ribosomes. These ribosomes are uh, cytosolic organelles within the cell that consider the RNA sequence and output the amino acid sequence. So the proteins that are formed as a result of this process are then folded and they become functional. The mechanism of this process of translation is described as follows. As a first step, the RNA molecule is read three nucleotides at a time. And these three nucleotides, they encode a specific amino acid. And then the next three nucleotides are processed, which result in the coding for another amino acid. And this process continues until the end of the RNA molecule and as a side product, you have the amino acid sequence with you. Various amino acids can be encoded in this process and 20 of them are listed here. These amino acids include alanine, arginine, asparagine, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamic acid, glutamine, glycine, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, Phenyl, alanine, proline, serin, threonine, tryptophan, tyrosine, and valine. So these 20 amino acids can be encoded by an mRNA molecule. Which three nucleotides or codons code for a specific amino acid? This is the only way to predict a protein sequence. So if I give you an RNA sequence, then you should be able to predict the protein sequence if you knew which three nucleotides gave out which amino acid. So towards this, this table will help you wherein combinations of all the three nucleotides that are possible are provided and the amino acids that are output as a result are also listed in front of them. So essentially, if you encounter A, U, G within an RNA molecule, then you know that methionine will be encoded by this codon. So in conclusion, the RNAs, they code for proteins. Three nucleotides act at a time to code for one amino acid at a time, and then the next three nucleotides or codon codes for another different amino acid. You can look up this table to know which amino acid will be produced if you have the sequence of an RNA molecule with you. This process takes place at the ribosomes and is called translation.